the details of which are given in table. The degree of ionization varies with the height. The density of atmosphere decreases with height. At great heights, the solar radiation is intense, but there are few molecules to be ionized. Close to the Earth, even though the molecular concentration is very high, the radiation intensity is low, so that the ionization is again low. However, at some intermediate heights, there occurs a peak of ionization density. The ionospheric layer acts as a reflector for a certain range of frequencies, 3 to 30 megahertz. Electromagnetic waves of frequencies higher than 30 megahertz penetrate the ionosphere and escape. These phenomena are shown in the figure. The phenomenon of blending of EM waves so that they are diverted towards the Earth is similar to total internal reflection in optics. Space wave. Another mode of radio wave propagation is by space waves. A space wave travels in a straight line from transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna. Space waves are used for line of sight LOS communication as well as satellite communication. At frequencies about 40 megahertz, communication is essentially limited to line of sight paths. At these frequencies, the antennas are relatively similar and can be placed at heights of many wavelengths above the ground. Because of line of sight nature of propagation, direct waves get blocked at some point by the curvature of the earth as illustrated in figure. If the signal is to be received beyond the horizon, then the receiving antenna must be high enough to intercept the line of sight waves. If the transmitting antenna is at a height h t, then you can show that the distance to the horizon dt is given as dt equals to square root of 2 rh t, where r is the radius of the earth approximately 6400 kilometers. dt is also called the radio horizon of the transmitting antenna. With reference to figure the maximum line of sight distance dm between the two antennas having heights ht and hr above the earth is given by dm equals to root 2 rht plus root 2 rhr where hr is the height of receiving antenna television broadcast microwave links and satellite communication are some examples of communication systems that use space wave mode of propagation the above figure summarizes the various modes of wave propagation discussed so far.